Think of your operators as a pipeline, performing a defined set of operations on each emitted item and emitting the result to the subscriber. Let's go through this again with more technical detail. Each operator takes an observable as an input. For the first operator, the source observable is its input observable. When our code subscribes to the source observable, the operator automatically subscribes to its input observable and creates and returns an output observable. As an item is emitted from its input observable, the operator processes that item as defined by the operator's arguments. The operator then emits the resulting item into its output observable. This observable becomes the input observable to the following operator. That operator automatically subscribes to its input observable and creates and returns an output observable. And that observable becomes the input to the operator that follows in the sequence, which also subscribes to its input observable and creates and returns an output observable. So when we subscribe to the source observable, each operator takes in an input observable, subscribes to it, and observes its notifications. This defines a chain of subscriptions. And each operator creates and returns an output observable. The last output observable is the final result that emits to the subscriber and is processed by the observer. And that's how an observable pipeline works. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.